This is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with interpreting charts uh, on the GED math test. So the first thing I want to point out is we have a chart here, which we're gathering data from. And when you're interpreting and looking at a chart and evaluating the information on the chart, the very first thing you want to do is you want to identify the name of the chart. What is this chart actually telling you? So this is Internet International Incorporated quarter one sales results so you know number one that this is a chart talking about sales results then you want to look at what they call the legend which gives you uh, um, what the colors mean and, and or what they might represent so green here is software packages and blue here is software support so there's one type of thing being sold and that's the sales result and there's another type of thing being sold and that's the sales result and then you also want to go down here and look at the x-axis and the y-axis. So on the x-axis, what's being showed here is the salesperson. So there's John, there's Myra, and there's Chris, and those are the salespeople. Then on this is number of units sold. So this gives you the, the range from 0 to 27. And then and these all fall on that range of number of units sold of packages or software support. Okay, so with that information, now we can jump into the question. So you always want to do that first. Make sure you go ahead and evaluate the chart before you jump into the question. But we've done that. So now here's the question. What percent of total software support? So that's very important. So we're looking for only software support. Not software packages, but software support. What percent of total software support units were sold by the salesperson, Myra? So we're looking for total software support. So when we're thinking about the total of software support, we're thinking about these three. And so uh, this one here uh, uh, looks like it's 11. Uh, this one here is 27. And then this one here is 22. So we're just going to add those up, 22, 27, 11. 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 1 is 10, carry the 1, 1, 3, 5, 6. So there were 60 total units of support sold, okay? Now the question is, what percent was sold by Myra. And so we come back up in here and we know that Myra is 27. So now we're going to come over here and then do t Myra over the total. So we know that Myra is 27 and we know the total is 60. And so the question is what percent? So, you know, it's a fraction, so we could reduce it if we want it. We could say take a three out. 3 out, and then the 27 divided by 3 is 9, 60 divided by 3 is 20, but see, but the question asks for uh, percent, so we're going to have to convert this fraction to a percent, and the way that you do that is by dividing the numerator by the denominator, so 9 divided by 20, so 9 divided by 20, and I'm going to come over here, Rewrite that over here. 9 divided by 20 equals 0.45. And then to convert that decimal to a percent, you move it over two space to the right and add the percent sign. So then that will be, whoops. Forty-five percent. So again, number one, we want to evaluate the chart, which we did. Number two, we jump into the question and make sure we read carefully because it says software support units. Not all units, but total software support units. So that is referring to only the blue column. And then from there, we go ahead and do our math. So now on the GD test, if they were just simply saying what's 9 divided by 20, it would be easy. But what they do is that they uh, cloak the question and uh, the, the picture. And so they, it, it brings a degree of complication here. Um, but, but if we are faithful to evaluating the information that we're given, and if we are faithful to reading closely and recognizing the software support units, then we can interpret this um, back to this data information here and then set up our percent and then divide it out and then do the math. And then we 
will be successful in getting the answer that we need for success on the question. Again, this has been GED teacher Damon Tennant. If you like this type of con uh, content, please like this video. It helps uh, YouTube to know that it's useful and it'll show this video to more people. And also, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I put videos out like this, not only specific GED questions, but um, things to give you more information uh, about the tests and strategies and tips. So if you want that type of thing, please subscribe. Then that way you will get a notification to my video. Uh, and beyond that, you can always visit me at mygedlive.com, which is my website where I host um, my um, GED products and, 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 and other things such as a practice test that I share uh, out. Thank you.